Uh, here we go, folks, uh, the press conference on the fire at the uh, Lexus Council this morning, with the police inquiries. Inspector Roger White, Town for the Car Group. Fantastic. Mate, can you just talk us through what the uh, police response is here today? Oh, look, as a result of information received regarding a fire at the uh, Lexus building, uh, police responded along with other emergency services. The role of police in relation to this matter is investigated and also to ensure a fit and proper traffic management plan uh, was executed to assist to assist QFES do their job. At this point in time, it's currently under investigation. Uh, it does appear that it is suspicious. However, uh, there's a lot that needs to be done in that space before that can be validated. But uh, how much uh, area do you have blocked off at the moment? Uh, originally, we had uh, a huge chunk, uh, a pretty extensive geographical location, um, which stretched uh, basically a couple of blocks uh, surrounding uh, the Lexington building. That was uh, due to a consequence of uh, uh, perhaps a toxic fume given the uh, current wind direction. Uh, it was needed to uh, ensure that uh, we get people out of the area until such time as a decision can be made to declare or not to declare an emergency situation for the Public Safety and Preservation Act. You didn't declare a PSPA though? No, it wasn't needed, and that's through thorough and exhaustive uh, communication and uh, consultation with our brothers within the QFES. Right, so you'll have detectives here working with the QFES for uh, you know, the foreseeable future? Yeah, they've been on deck uh, since around about uh, quarter to eight and they've been uh, liaising uh, with uh, QFES investigators since around half past eight this morning. That was Roger White from the uh, Queensland Police Service and we're just waiting for the uh, fire commander to come up and have a chat to us now too. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How's everybody today? Oh, right. Pretty good. From right up there. And we're going to get to. Uh, Might be in Tulsa Sweet. Yeah. Tulsa Sweet. Yeah. Tulsa Sweet. Yeah. Tulsa Sweet. 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 Tulsa
check out. My name is Keith Perry, last name spelled C R A P E R I. Service number 017960. I'm the acting station officer, Woodland Spire Station, one of those bells around. Okay, approximately 0708 hours this morning. Fire service received multiple triple O calls uh, from persons within the premises indicating that there was a fire at Maitani, in the Maitani, we had a showroom on Rockwood Street. What did you time uh, We arrived at approximately 0717 hours. Uh, on arrival, we had large plumes of smoke issuing from the western side of the building. Uh, we were quickly able to establish that all persons were out of the building and had been accounted for. Um, we were also concerned about additional businesses that were in the smoke plume, so we put systems in place to ensure that they were out of the smoke plume as well. I'm not exactly sure of all the numbers, however, on arrival, talking to the manager, we were quickly able to establish that all persons were out of the building and accounted for, which meant that we could we could um, focus our efforts on fire suppression. Was the fire in the room? Uh, initial investigations from the persons who rang Triple O call that the fire, they had seen a fire breach the ceiling space on the northwest corner of the uh, showroom. Um, extensive damage in there? There is quite extensive damage to the showroom. We have multiple cars which have obviously been on fire, plus there's been partial ceiling collapse within the premises and obviously substantial smoke damage. But we have saved a large percentage of the building. Yeah, there, were, there were concerns about toxic smoke. Was that uh, we currently have an uh, operational support unit performing air sampling and air monitoring around the businesses of Domain Central, um, around the actual premises of Mike Carney itself, and any businesses on the eastern side and northern side, all the way up through to Walcott Street. What's happening now? Uh, We've got a lot of reasons At this point in time, the fire is under control. The fire in the showroom has been extinguished. We held our how are ever still trying to make access into the plant room and ceiling space area to ensure that there are no hotspots and the fire has been fully extinguished in that area. We also currently have our fire investigation team from Fire and Rescue Service on scene and they're performing their entire investigation in relation to this fire. How difficult was it to put that fire out with everyone for your team safe as well? Um, look, given the location of the fire, the type of products which were on fire, obviously showroom products, electrical items and vehicles on fire contained within a building. There was lots of heat, lots of smoke, difficult access because most of the doors into my county Toyota are electrically operated. Um, power had been isolated before we arrived, so get, actually getting access into the fire was quite difficult. Because of the, because of the glass electric doors, but also because of the type of material. You can imagine that a vehicle, electric paint, tires, produces a large amount of heat and a large amount of smoke. Because of the being shut up, we found it very hard to eventually get that smoke out, so the police could aggressively and defensively attack the fire. Sorry folks, so a bit of an interruption there on that one. Access was difficult, access was difficult. Yeah. Access was difficult due to the heat and the smoke. Um, also, we couldn't actually ventilate because of the glass doors to let the heat and smoke out so the firefighters could make, um, have good visibility and make an, event, uh, an offensive and aggressive attack on the fire.
there must have been concern there for a while as well with, um, you know, as you say, having, having cars in there that were on fire of um, explosion and the like. Yes, there were, there were several explosions. We believe they were just the tyres exploding. Uh, when we committed crews in, we made sure that we had adequate VA safety teams in place and safety officer in place to ensure the safety of our crews. We never committed crews in that dangerous situation until we had sufficient resources and were able to establish exactly where the fire was. How many crews did you have in? We had approximately 27 resources um, on scene today and approximately 110 personnel, including personnel that we got from there to come and combat the fire with us today. Um, and so when will you know whether the smoke was uh, toxic or if once the levels are, are down, where are we at on that? Okay, at the moment we have our operational support unit through VA HASMAT and through conjunction with our scientific officers in Brisbane. We have currently done air sampling around the premises itself. We are currently performing air sampling operations to one of the buildings on the western side of my Carney Toyota and to the northern part or the northern areas of the building. Um, we should know approximately in about half an hour to 45 minutes about how those levels are, but the levels where we are standing here are very, very safe. Would you recommend to people that you know, are breathing some of and asthma and that to sort of stay clear of this area as well this time? Uh, not at this point of time. Um, due to we've got some good natural ventilation at the moment, we've got some good uh, easterly wind happening at the moment, uh, which is pushing the smoke away. So given that there's no more smoke coming out of the building, uh, it will be safe. However, initially what I had the police go to the businesses around my Carney Toyota, especially to the north, um, northern businesses, um, and got them to shut their doors and windows. We also blocked the road at Woolcock Street to stop any traffic coming through. Could you put a rubber spit on their behalf anytime um, the burnt um, here? I have been told by crews there is approximately three cars that have been built, uh, burnt, however, um, that's still under investigation. Is there any worries of a structural collapse as well? Uh, that is still under investigation at the moment. Obviously because of the ferocity of the fire, uh, we have to strategically put in a plan in place before we start putting people in structural engineers and our um, fire investigation unit into the building. Has anyone had a chance to make a business owner as well? Uh, yes, um, our um, fire investigation unit has spoken to the manager and also staff that witnessed the fire and they've also taken statements from personal ID and QFAS uh, resources as well. Can you give us an indication of what uh, their response was like the manager? Uh, not at this point in time, no. They've, they've been uh, having interviews with our uh, fire investigation unit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, that's the end of the press conference. Thank you folks for joining us.